I'm going to begin a little review of the recorder here. Okay, some of us have played it last year or maybe you've seen one before. It feels a little bit different because you put your left hand on the top. For most of you, I know that's the hand you're not used to using for writing or grabbing or catching a ball unless you're left-handed. But that one goes on top. Okay, so that's the top one. And there's a little hole, just one hole in the back, and you put your thumb there. And then it's one, two, three. That's it, on your left hand. Okay, and if you're securely doing it, if you are holding it and you can lift your hands off, you should see little, little, little circles. That means that you're um, covering the holes correctly. You're not pushing hard with the tips. It's just like the pads, these parts of your fingers, okay? Gently. And then what happens is for other notes, your right hand fills in. One, two, three, four. Your thumbs for both go on the back. Using your top left thumb for the hole, but then your right thumb just goes down here too to kind of help anchor and hold it there, okay? And then when you are playing, you just put a little bit of it in your mouth, like that, and your tongue goes behind your top teeth. You're kind of making a d, d, d sound while you're doing it, okay, while you're playing. And that's what kind of articulates. Articulates means um, cleanly plays each note, okay? So d, 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 and the tip of your tongue should be hitting the back of your top teeth there, okay? So when you play, you can play like this. A lot of times if you get a squeaky sound, it's because you are either putting too much of the mouthpiece in your mouth or you are blowing too hard. It's just a gentle blow. Kind of think like a steady fog up a window in a cold, cold morning and make it warm and frosty. That kind of feeling, that kind of breath, okay? Warm and steady, flowing. Or um, you might be, yeah, if you're blowing too hard, it'll come out squeaky. The uh, last thing you could be doing to get that squeaky sound is maybe you're not covering your holes enough properly. If there's like a little space there, that's going to make extra air come out and create that squeaky sound, okay? So that's the beginning. And you know, if you want to just practice, you could just put your thumb, left hand, on top. One, two, three. You could just practice on one note, playing rhythms. You making you think of making that duh, duh sound? It's a little intro, and we'll doing we'll be doing more. The recorders will be coming home this week, and then the following week we'll be doing more of a pre-recorded lesson using the recorders. Okay.